This is the City Barracks Landmark Bundle. Uh, this set is based around a bunch of fieldstone building components, topped off with our green roofs, which really pop the green against the gray stone, uh, dressed up with some of our scaffolding using a scaffolding balcony builder set, and then topped off with some LED lanterns, the uh, LED low town lamp posts. So let's take a look at all the details. Oh, but first, so we have all of these pieces we didn't use in the build. Uh, so this should provide you with a bunch of other building possibilities for any sort of alternate build you might do. All right, so let's see what we've built here. So this thing is supposed to feel like a stout, fortified, uh, kind of no-nonsense headquarters for the town watch or the uh, soldiers, or maybe the constable lives here, or maybe that's where they, uh, they also lock up. It's the drunk tank. They can lock up the locals that are getting too rowdy and the like. So... On the front here, we uh, we start with the big showpiece is this new uh, portcullis arch. So we have one extra that we didn't use. So we can showcase this thing up front. So it's got these beautiful pair of lions flanking the uh, door on this side. This side's a little more plain with a cool keystone at the top there. Uh, and this takes any of our arch inserts. Uh, so in this case, it comes with the metal bars, but you could take these a solid wall, the uh, boarded up, all the crease secretions, any of our uh, any of our arch inserts fit in there, um, so it adds new uh, new possibilities to this piece. Uh, so that makes that could be the uh, the jail area, or maybe that's where they uh, impound carts, or maybe that's where they keep their weapons of war. Who knows? But it's a nice fortified entrance with the small steps getting up. Uh, it's flanked by a pair of these LED low tone LED lamp posts, and uh, these have their own battery and switch and LED. So you can put them anywhere, uh, not just in your city. You could put them in your dungeon, in your cavern. They look really cool anywhere and give a nice little spot of life. Uh, I should note that the uh, the floors that we're using here are not yet our remastered floors. So these are our original City Builder Fieldstone floors. We are remastering these as we speak. The prototypes aren't quite ready yet, but uh, we are adjusting the texture on the outside so the, the sides of the floors will match the, uh, the walls and the corner posts better. Uh, and we're popping biscuit holes in there and we're cleaning up the uh, the insert holes in there so they'll take uh, insert in the stairwell. Uh, so we'll show you those at some point during the campaign but for right now you have to look at the original uh, fieldstone floors. Once I do have biscuit holes they'll be able to put the actual biscuit hole fillers. So these are the projecting beam biscuit hole fillers that will be popping in those holes so it gives this kind of a uh, neat like there's uh, beams holding up the uh, inside of the ceiling. We're doing that on both sides. You can't see the back but the same thing's happening over on the back. And then up above, top side here, we've got, uh, these are the arrow slit walls, so it's a fortified position you can start shooting out from there. And we've got arrow slit walls along all of this wall and up here. So sort of all the top around the back side here is all arrow slits everywhere. Uh, working our way around to the front, we have the, uh, the window down here has the armored shutter in there, which completes the sort of the fortified look. And then we have a door all the way in the back. You could use this as an alternate entrance. Coming up to the uh, second floor, we've got this scaffolding built. It's the balcony builder. Uh, it'll be biscuited to the side of the building for security. Got a couple of those four-inch planks. And then the back, we have the little uh, the two-inch uh, platform projecting cantilevered off the back. Uh, it's got railings all the way around using our four-inch railings. And the two-inch railings gives you a nice cover from here, uh, as well as we're using the twin pilings here stacked on top of the footers to get them up to the full height. Uh, for extra stability. And then uh, all the way in the back, we have the single pilings with the uh, on the footers also for the height. This one's topped off with the uh, hoist pull accessory. Uh, this thing can rotate around, and we could also pop it off into the... Uh, we have these little sliding pull accessory uh, holder clips, so we could pop it into any of those pull holes or the top of any of these pilings. But maybe this is where they can... Uh, hoist up supplies inside where they can withstand a siege. It's got a lot of uh, iron rations and um, and water and uh, supplies, probably ample supply of rum in there or whatnot. Coming up to the, oh, and we got another uh, another armored shutter here. And then this is the uh, this is the city door with the studs. So this is the fortified uh, door, the super sturdy looking door, harder DC to break that thing down. Coming up to the rooftop, uh, it's using the standard roof pack, so we've got four straights and four hips. 
in kind of a standard roof shape. Topped off a little magnetic chimney in the back. And then top side here, we've got uh, the cupola from uh, the steeple pack with the little steeple built. We've taken two of the, uh, the window walls out. So there's windows in the back. These ones are clear, so you can come on up out to this little lookout platform. So this is a two inch uh, scaffolding platform uh, rimmed by the, uh, the two inch railings with a little pull clip here. You could put a spyglass or arbalist or something if you have it up there. And this is a neat little lookout tower from where they can kind of scan the streets for trouble, make sure all is safe in the city. Uh, it's topped off by a little two inch peak roof. Uh, and then transitioning down, we have, this is the 38 millimeter stairs and that's just biscuited right into the side of this cupola. And then there's the magnetic perch uh, on here with the corner scaffolding railing platform, uh, which then has the 61 millimeter stairs biscuited to that. So we have a really nice transition down here. So there's a lot of playable space on different la layers here, different levels, uh, as well as interesting entrances on different levels. So it would be a fun building to try and defend or attack or uh, sneak into or whatnot. Uh, so a lot of building possibilities with uh, these good looking field stone and green roofs together. It's a great pairing. Also, if you have the rooftop crenellation pack or any of the crenellations from our original City Builder uh, Kickstarter or from our Castles line, you can pop them on here to change the look. So let's see what that looks like. Pop that roof off. Now it really feels like a little uh, little miniature keep or a, uh, a fully fortified barracks, a little outpost, something like that. So lots of fun compatibility with the crenellations and the fieldstone pieces. And the uh, the scaffolding gives it kind of a an extra fortified, right? It's like hoarding, uh, like they've added some extra defenses onto their stone building. Uh, hopefully this will inspire you know, some of the things that you can do with this landmark.